friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today for another frequently asked question. And this one is about my rustic lids that you'll see on my jars. I get asked this one quite a bit. And where do I get them? Where I'm getting them now is not the same as where I was getting them before. And where it all started was there was a lady, a local lady that makes these handmade soy candles. And she sells them in these little jars like this with these lids. It was the first time I ever saw these lids. And so I, I was buying these candles from her. Usually once a year I'd get a bunch of them. I just love them. And this one actually isn't, the, the candle that's in here isn't actually one of hers. I just recycled the jar and made my own candle in there. I think this one was made with just plain sewy wax, nothing fancy. But anyway, um, she came, it came with these lids and I really liked them so much that I started using them on any of the jars that I have sitting out on my counters because they just look nicer than canning lids and I love the rustic color of them. Well, uh, I decided several years ago I really wanted some for my different herbs that I like to leave out for using for making tea, such as the astragalus. This is actually a new one I just added. I'm hoping to grow some at some point, but anyway, I did buy this one recently. For making cold and flu prevention syrups and teas. So anyway, uh, I had a lot of jars that I was, you know, before Patrick even built me that little shelf back there specifically for these, I was just setting them on the counter, but I wanted them to look nice and match my kind of rustic theme. And so, I did some hunting and found these initially on Amazon. Now you can still get these on Amazon, but I stopped linking that to them because it used to be I could get, I was getting six of them for $4. Well, now they're like $12 for six of them. So they've tripled in price, which was really kind of disappointing. And I couldn't find these ones on Amazon at all. I could find something similar, but not the same ones. Well. I finally realized that I could go looking around online and there are several different places you can go. Any place that sells, well, just decorative canning things that are specifically for decorative arts and crafts kind of stuff. I did find one that was uh, just uh, mostly about candles and I'm guessing that's probably where this lady gets her lids like this. So I did put in an order recently because I like these lids so much. I really even though I have quite a few, I'd really like to have more of them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to the place that I got mine. It's actually, uh, I think it's out of Oregon. And so I'll link to that down below where I put in my last order for them. And you dig, do get volume discounts. So if you're going to order at least 12 or more, you'll get a discount per lid. So it's per lid price. And then some other lids I did buy because they were cheaper were these and you can get them in kind of the pewter or the the rustic brown don't like them near as much they're a lot there might be a lot cheaper but i don't even think they're available on amazon anymore anyway they're they're cheaper in cost but they're more cheaply made they're just real chintzy and i was using these for a tooth powder but they um they rust badly they don't last long so I don't recommend those at all anymore. And these, these ones are just, they've lasted for years and they're just really in great shape. You can also get these in other colors. You can get them in black, you can get them in the zinc, or at least it looks like zinc, like the old fashioned canning lids were. One thing you gotta know though about these lids, they're for arts and crafts, they're for decorative purposes. And they'll tell you these are not meant for storing food. But I do it anyway, because one, that's me. <laughs> and two, there's ways that you can make them food safe if you're concerned about that. My first concern is some of them, the more rusty ones, would get flaky on the inside. And so that was one of my things when using with anything food related, every time you turn the lid, is that some of that rusty stuff can flake off and get into whatever food or herb, whatever it is you got in your jars. So what I started doing is I take the lid to make it, there's two different ways you can go about this to make it food safe. And I would put a little bit of beeswax, just a, a few little pellets into the lid itself and then set it on a heat source. That can be on your stove. Normally I'm just using my wood stove. So I'll set it right on the wood stove and then have those pellets in there and then let them melt. 
Then I take a pastry brush and then just spread that carefully around, making sure you're covering this whole area here. And it's not a bad idea to do the inside here. As long as you keep the coat very thin, you don't want it too thick or it's gonna be hard to get on and off your jars. And what that will do is not only allow a protective food safe layer, it'll also help prevent it from, because some of these can still get rusty if they get damp at all. Though I always store dry goods and this kind of stuff. I never use it for wet goods. But still, you can develop, depending on the lid, it can get a little rusty and then stick to your jar. But if you have a real thin layer, you could even put a thicker oil, like a coconut oil or something in there, and that will help as well but i like the beeswax because it's uh it's going to stay hard it's also going to be a more solid protective layer and then what you can also do which i found was really weird is this particular silicone ring doesn't fit in here but you can see like let's see if this one has one in here like with this one i've got my coating of beeswax in there and then i've got a little silicone ring in there if you want to make it more airtight so not only can you buy these silicone rings and those yes you can get on Amazon but you can also buy a silicone like a disc that covers the whole inside of the lid and that way you wouldn't even have to bother with the beeswax so that would just fill up this whole area just be a solid disc uh, you may still want to consider putting a layer of oil or something on the inside just to keep it smooth so it goes on and off your jars good and it doesn't rust. But the, uh, the protective layer mostly on that top part where it's gonna, the food might touch it or it's getting exposed to the food is where it's most important as far as that goes. And so that's just what I do. I always use the beeswax. But again, you can buy those the silicone, which I'll link to some of those as well. So now they do fit inside these ones perfectly. And you can use them in, also inside your these ball lids like this. Now, I also really like these lids. I bought some of them I was able to get in our local store for a pretty good price. Uh, a little better price than, they, than you can find them on Amazon. But if you're interested, I'll link to them at least on Amazon. But these are the ball, the newer leak-proof lids that aren't really that leak-proof. They're better than the white ones, but they're still not fully leak-proof. But this one doesn't have a silicone uh, liner in it so if I just put that little silicone liner in there then that makes it more leak proof so you can see I've got some garlic infusing here and honey and black seed so if you didn't see my black seed video I did start some of this and I think I'm really gonna like it so I'm letting I'm letting the garlic and the black seed and some red pepper infuse there in the honey so anyway now that I put that silicone ring in there that also makes these more leak proof and that goes for the wide or the regular i almost forgot to mention that that includes this lid with the holes in it this was one of the candle lids and i wanted this for the this is the seasoning salt i make and i have a video on how i do it that i'll link to in the description box but anyway i wanted this to look nice on the table i wanted to use one of these jars for the seasoning salt using this half pint canning jar and then this lid, so it looked really cool, Patrick just drilled some holes in there. But you do want to make sure if you're going to do something like this, especially for salt, that you coat the top of it with the beeswax as well because that salt will rust. I didn't think about that at first. And so that was something I had to go back to do and do because this has already started to degrade, to degrade from the salt. And so I, I thought, oh my gosh, why didn't I think to do that? So I cleaned it off really good and then put a bees, layer of beeswax on the top to make that last longer. <laughs> and so I do get people asking me about these two. And I meant that was part of this video was about getting these ones here. And they're called black, even though they look more of a charcoal gray. But I would say, you know, you can look at it on Amazon, but you might want to check your local store, any place that carries canning supplies you may be able to find a better price on it there i know even in our local small town very remote small town i actually got a better price on them locally than i did on amazon so check that first before you go ordering through that amazon link unless you just want to order through the amazon link to help support us because remember any amazon links we put that's our affiliate link and anything you buy through that link it doesn't matter what it is you don't even have to buy that product you can go through that link and anything you put in your cart during that shopping session gets credited to us and we get a small percentage of the purchase but 
I also recommend any way that you can save money if it means buying it locally and supporting their local business that's a good thing too so either way whatever works best for you and whichever is going to help you save the most money too all right and so if you're interested in more frequently asked questions I have a very long it's, grow, it's getting to be a very long playlist so I have a whole series of some of the most frequently asked questions I get and I will link to that playlist down below in the description box don't forget to click on either show more right down here or that little gray triangle if you're on a smart device all right well thanks for watching take care and god bless